this is something I'm working on. I'm I'm hoping to do an interview with this one girl that I cross paths with that uh, lives in my community. We don't really understand the other side of our experiences. This is a girl that, um, if you've seen her, you'd probably make a lot of negative assumptions about her. You'd probably assume that she has absolutely nothing to offer the world. Um, she is an alcoholic. Um, you know, she she would appear like you know one of those that are homeless. You know, she she would be. Um, you know, somebody that you would see has nothing to offer our society. And yet, if you talk to her and you hear her story, <clears throat> you'd hear a lot of the challenges that she was faced with in her life. You'd hear that um, for years she's been trying to get society to hear what she's got to say because she's seen how screwed up things are. And you have to see that that's what a lot of uh, people that are dealing with addictions are dealing with, is they've seen that our societies are really, really screwed up. And the pain of not being able to change society, um, you know, makes you have an addiction that just ends up killing you. But what you would find absolutely, totally surprising about this girl is she's extremely intelligent. You know, like you want to think that a lot of people that, are, you know, are living in poverty are really dumb. She is far from dumb. She is like super intelligent. And that's what I found with a lot of people that are living in a lot of poverty. They, they have so much knowledge. But it's a communication problem. We don't know how to communicate with the system and get the system to actually listen to us. And the most amazing aspect of this girl is her art. I mean, she is one of the most fabulous artists I have ever seen. Um, so what I'm trying to do is get her to do a YouTube channel that displays a lot of her art so that she can be supported. If you love really, really good art and want to support somebody, this is somebody that's really worth supporting. Um, there's so much passion and so much love and so much knowledge in the artwork that she does do. When somebody does a, a, a piece of art, it's reflection of how they see the world. And when you see somebody that you know, sees what's screwed up about humanity and they're trying to get you to see, you know, the meaning of life through art. That's the art that you want to buy. So I've, you know, kind of made contact with her, kind of asked her if she'd like to do an interview on this radio show. I don't know when we're going to do it, but I, I would like to interview you so you can see what her perspective is. And at the same time, I want her to have a YouTube channel set up so you can see the level of art this person has. Every single one of us has a purpose. Every single one of us has a unique talent. And, you know, unfolding our talents and supporting each other in our talents is the way we need to go. Um, if you feel that, I mean, trust me, if you, if you, you know, this Venus project is talking about, you know, everything's free, you know, and, and, and robots are going to do everything and they're going to do all of the farming. That's part of the, the frustration I get is like, do you have any idea that there's a farmer that would just love to be farming, but you're taking away the farmer's opportunity to do what he loves by making a computer or, you know, technology do the work for you. And it's like as soon as we go down in a direction that we're going to get technology to do things for us, it takes away our opportunity to be who we were supposed to be, to do the things that we're passionate about doing, doing the things that we would do for nothing because we are so passionate about doing it. And we do need to be supportive in that. And once we see the value 
in somebody you think who has no value, then that's when your life starts to shine. That's when you start seeing even yourself. Because when you are supporting someone like this, you are actually supporting yourself. You don't know it because you are teaching the world how to be supportive. And then you will get the support that you need. You will find out what your purpose is. And, and you need to get up every day feeling, I've got value. I'm putting something out in the world. I'm making a difference. You know, you're putting, you know, that smile on your own freaking face. You know, that says I'm worthwhile. I'm worthy. But if you want that to be attracted in your life, you got to put that back out and give support to somebody else. And this girl truly has seen, you know, like we think we're just waking up in the last year or two. There's people that have been homeless, people that have been deprived years and years and years ago that have been trying to communicate a message with humanity, but humanity just does not want to listen. And this is one girl that typically is not being heard and I think it's going to be an awesome interview. She's kind of agreed to it. I don't know how open she's going to be, but I'm going to keep talking with her and, and let her know that her story is valuable and we all need to listen to her perspective of life. And uh, don't know when that's going to come, but just thought I'd let everybody know that that's one of the talk shows that I want to do on this radio show. So if you're kind of really interested in what she's got to say, um, comment, email me, you know, let me know this is something of interest to you. And, you know, then it'll be sort of motivation for her to say, it's worth it to just tell the deep, dark secret so you can see the mindset and, and see what we really do need to understand about life. Because that is what's more important is if you're looking for more knowledge you need to listen to people who are suffering because if we learn to listen to them we unfold the solutions so I'd love to hear what you got to say about that one peace out